The Monk's Trod is a 25-mile medieval road which runs between the Cistercian abbeys of Strata Florida in Ceredigion and Abbey Cumhir in Powys, West Wales. Archaeologist Professor Andrew Fleming has mapped out the route of the trod, which he argues would have been essential for enabling horseback journeys between the two abbeys in the medieval period. As a result, Dr Sam Hearn and Alex Badman King from the University of Wales, Trinity St David, set out to ride this track on their Welsh cobs, Elvis and Psyche, in a bid to better understand the archaeology of the trod and the relationship between humans, animals and this enigmatic landscape through time. Sam, Alex, Elvis and Psyche start their journey from Dolebolion Farm, which borders the Abbey Precinct, and where it is thought that the Cistercian monks would have bred horses. There is some evidence to suggest that these horses resembled the contemporary native Welsh breeds. While in places the root of the trod is clearly visible, in others it has disappeared completely. This makes crossing the boggy landscape with horses very difficult and dangerous in its current state. And before they rejoined the support team at Tyvee Pools, both of the horses had sunk several times up to their shoulders in the bog. The way horses work in, in, on roads of this kind and on these routes, I, I really want to understand that. I want to understand how they selected routes that were good for horses, um, how, they, how they sometimes engineered roads to make them better for horses. There's, um, there's way markers, there's a white marker up there. It's a direct to Clarence Farm. Yeah. yeah. Well, you must do what you think's best. I, I, it's, uh, it certainly is, it's hard to avoid the bog in that area, yeah. I think. Sam and Alex experience more difficulties with the horses getting sucked into the bogland between Tybee Pools and Clairwen, and local farmer Glyndur Jones ventures out on his quad bike to help guide them to safety. Trouble with the board, my husband, we my really weird. Gedar um a motorbikes a route get down and deal in their monks rod. My man already my amos be radio get filled real on a mar ruts mar to them or man and my more lib. A saib a thing I low rag we massa get fill are hell again. Mar motorbikes mar weekends and the end. I really weird just him sense in the way. <laughs> they are joined at Clairwen by shepherd Huey Davis, who will guide them over the next section. I've been riding ponies all my life, and I don't ride big cars, I ride section C's, which are made for shepherding. Well, the section C is up to 13 two, and then you get a section D, which is bigger, which is a little bit heavy for the turbury ground that we have around here. But they must have a great faith in you and you in them. If you've got faith in your horse, you, you don't have to worry about anything. Um, it was really exhilarating but really exhausting at the same time. Um, it just brought home to me the, the whole need for the trod in the first place, that it's, um, uh, without that road it would have been completely impassable, I think. So. Well, certainly Huey's horse was much more confident traversing the boggy sections um, and uh, yeah, just seemed to know where to put her feet and didn't seem to sink as much either, did she? Mm. She was much lighter on her feet. And that could be because she's a section C, whereas ours have got quite a high stepping gait. But was also I think because Huey knows the area so well he wasn't transmitting any anxiety and just knew where to put her, whereas we were... You know, trying to think about it, for, think about our own preservation and, and as well as theirs. The horse is a primary mode of movement, of course, but the horses were also used for traction. They were used uh, for um, a variety of purposes, agricultural purposes, they were probably used in some of the industrial processes that they would have been absolutely integral to the Cistercian economy at Strata Florida and Abbey 
Coombe here. And we have some evidence uh, from the landscape and from documents the Cistercians were very interested in extending uh, and improving the breeding lines of horses uh, to serve these multiple purposes. Like contemporary roads, the trod would have had to cross a wide range of natural features. And one of the questions which interests the archaeologists is how rivers like the Wye could have been made more accessible for riders and their mounts. We've been very lucky as the period of exceptionally dry weather in the run-up to the ride meant that the river was low and we could ford it easily. I don't like to think how we'd have coped with the bogs in wetter conditions, but we're doubly lucky as the cobs are so sensible. This landscape is part of their heritage and they take it all in their stride. After crossing the Wye, Huey leaves Sam and Alex for their final push. It is now, when everyone is getting tired, that horses and riders find their way blocked at the top of Moyle Howell. The support team waits to see whether or not they will have the energy to descend the way they came and finish the route by taking the long detour around the base of the mountain by road. And this guy turned up on a tractor and said um, that it, it was all padlocked and we couldn't, it wasn't a public access. Had to turn around and go back. The monk's trod is a, a, a hugely important monument in its own right. Too easily are these things lost. The difficulties in preserving these roads are immense because they cross through the land of many individuals and many corporations. And trying to persuade each and every one of them that this pathway should be kept open and kept preserved is a monumental task. In the deepening evening, they finally make it to Abbey Cumhir. Easy. Like I say, I'm ready to go back. Easy money. <laughs> Actually, it's a bit of an emotional roller coaster. We experienced everything from fear and elation and disappointment Dis and fatigue and well that's not an emotion Absolute is it? achievement. Yeah, relief. Yes. And oh, so glad that they're safe. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So how long is it taking you? Um, what time is it 13. now? 13 hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nearly 14. Nearly 14 hours. Well. You've been in the saddle since half past six. I think this is this is a bit of a jewel in the local crown as a matter of fact because um, anyone who's a fan of Cistercians and so on can follow in the footsteps of the Cistercians. Uh, it, it makes a cracking long distance walk, it makes a cracking long distance ride, um, and I think we should be preserving it. This is probably one of Britain's best preserved medieval roads. <laughs>